For the immediate short-term, appeasement's very effective. You just kick the can down the road and it gets, unfortunately, more serious each time you do that. Hitler had less material resources in the mid-1930s than the combined democracies on the European continent. But he felt that because they were so willing to appease him, there must be some reason why that was. And so he kind of concluded that the winners of World War I were more traumatized than the losers. And that gave him more encouragement to try something even grander and bolder each year. Within a year, the Nazis occupied the whole of Czechoslovakia. I had another talk with the German Chancellor, Herr Hitler. And here is the paper which bears his name upon it as well as mine. We regard the agreement signed last night and the Anglo-German naval agreement as symbolic of the desire of our two peoples never to go to war with one another again. The British people celebrated in the streets because it meant that there wasn't going to be a war. At least they didn't think there was going to be a war. And Winston Churchill actually said the exact opposite, said that this was a disaster, it was dishonorable, we were going to get war anyway. And he said it in the most beautiful, eloquent, Churchillian uh, phrases, and, uh, and we actually have them here at the, uh, at the archives now. So this is going to be the 1938 Munich speech that Winston Churchill gave in the House of Commons. And here it is. Some wonderful stuff. Here he says, I therefore begin by saying what is most unpopular and most unwelcome what every one of us would like to ignore or forget, but what must nevertheless be stated, namely, that we have sustained a total, unmitigated defeat. He also says, there was never any danger of a fight if all the time one side meant to give away completely. That's a, uh, one of the great obvious truths of appeasement. 